Touching base on how it's going so far. Two weeks into caravanning life slash the world tour around Oz. Shall we start on car and your thoughts? How is it traveling? Well, the car was a difficult one because we hadn't really done much towing with it before, especially over long distances. The van wasn't fully loaded, the car wasn't fully loaded, so we didn't really have a good idea of sort of how the car was going to tow, how much power it was going to have, how much fuel it was going to use, stuff like that. So basically what I did to the car was relatively low cost, I guess you could say. I spent about five grand. Yeah, and I didn't really get to test anything too much before we hit the road because we had four days when I got off work and Pouring it rain. just rained like <laughs> so rain. torrentially. I wish I had footage of Paul when he was doing the exhaust. He was just in like a puddle of I was in a wetsuit on a, laying on a foam surfboard in about... <laughs> ankle deep water yeah under the car off. trying to change the exhaust dealing with what i thought maybe i would be the one exception in the entire universe to having the problem of removing the bolts out of the turbo dump which <laughs> i definitely wasn't the one exception i battled with that for about a whole day Eight hours without the right tools the second edition was the steinbauer power module which was a super easy install it's literally just plug and play it's like a 10 minute job if you kind of have a rough idea of what you're doing but i think the best thing that i did to the car so far which was actually the cheapest was the throttle control it's like i think it was like 180 bucks and you don't actually realize how much lag your throttle has until you put a throttle control in where it takes that lag out so those couple additions to the car i did the egr clean as well which was pretty inexpensive i didn't really need to spend any money on that it just took about a good half a day to fully strip it down and then put it back together and then install the catch can and then now that you've done those things to the car and the differences and us being away for two weeks, what do you think? Is there anything else that you want to add engine-wise or just to the car in general? Well, when we were going up to the waterfall, oh, yeah, it was cool. like a real, it was like a 12 kilometer hill of about was, 10 degrees. So just constant, brutal. constant upward slope, van on the back, um, towing in low gear we um yeah obviously because it our car is an auto um when you're when you're towing obviously you get a lot of heat in your transmission so even not driving in overdrive having the shift locked and everything still when you're taking on those big hills the car Transmission is going to really heat up, so there's not much that we could really do about that at this stage except for pull over, kind of wait 10 minutes for the car to cool down and then continue on and take it easy. But at the top of my to buy list for the car is definitely a transmission intercooler, so we won't have the problem with potentially you know blowing our gearbox or you know, whatever may happen. Next thing would be our fuel economy. Yeah. Um, so... Biggest tank. No, we only have 70 litre tank, which isn't ideal. I'd like a long range tank, ideally. Especially when we're down in South Australia doing the Nullarbor or yeah. in remote Western Australia, whatever. We can deal with that and yeah. just overcome that with jerry cans. So that's not the, the biggest, biggest problem. problem. So we're... 1400 k's in now to our trip and we've done four full tanks three full tanks of fuel 
Three and a bit. Three and a bit, yeah, almost four. It's about 230 litres of fuel we've used, roughly. So, look, it's not the best fuel economy. Maybe we'd get better fuel economy if we had a big, expensive V8 where it would idle a lot lower where we're towing, yeah, but... We're just towing that much. We're just pretty happy way. with the economy of the Hilux at the moment. Let's talk about the weather. Yeah, it's a great conversation. Weather so far. It has been torrential rain, <laughs> but that's just been the whole story of basically the East Everywhere. Coast of Australia this year. The year before it was the year of the fire, and then mm. the last two years have been the year of the, the flood. floods. Yeah, so, it's been a lot of rain. But on the contrast to that, because there's been a lot of rain without big low pressure systems around and stuff. The winds have been quite light. The waves have been fun. It's been like kind yeah. of three to six foot area. Yeah, getting most of the time. So there's been plenty of waves. It's been wet, but yeah, it's, it's not like it's been cold and miserable yeah. and. You know, it's been rainy, but it hasn't been super windy, it hasn't things. been super cold yet, it no. hasn't been... Yeah, so that's certainly thing, it's like, just, obviously, like, everything's a bit damp and I'm going to have a great time scrubbing the awning, getting all the mould off, but, um, and just getting washing dry is the other thing we've been, yeah, just burning through dollar coins like we're in the pokies. Yeah, it's been pretty wet, but... But the good thing about the wetness is... Mm. A lot of the campsites that we've gone to yeah. check in at, we asked for unpowered sites because we don't really need it. But I think like probably like four places so far that we asked for an unpowered site and then they're like, oh, all of our unpowered sites are kind of too wet at the moment and such and such. So we'll just put you on a powered site for the same price. Yeah. So, so that's been pretty good. Yeah. We've been getting upgraded for free. Yeah, that's pretty much it with weather. Fuck the weather. Fuck the weather. Come back sunshine. The northern New South Wales coast was very, 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 very dirty yeah. water. Lots of floods this year. So, so yeah, kind of that whole area. It was pretty sketchy surfing in due to all the fresh water. Right near river mouths, just not smart surfing conditions. But then as we've got further south, the waves have got a lot funner. Cool. Had some small little running point breaks that are like one to three foot. We've had some good beaches. Um, the board's been good. Mostly been riding the mashup. Pretty much most of my sessions, except for one or two where it was a little bit bigger and the mashup wasn't quite ideal. Yeah. No gnarly waves yet, but heaps of fun waves. Temperatures have been good, winds have been pretty good. I think only, yeah, only real average winds we've got this whole time was right at the very beginning when we stopped through Byron. That was kind of at the real heaviest part of the weather as well too. So there was nowhere to really hide from the wind. Um, it was pretty average, but Paul still surfed. Um, and I got almost blown away on the beach trying to film but yeah it's been really good so far and that's we're just at the beginning so overall we've been pretty lucky with waves fishing i don't think we can off. even call this segment fishing like they're all it's like just hanging out by the water with a rod in my hand so far i think i've caught three toad fish <laughs> four brim a couple of snags and a few little trevally no, but nothing you could keep <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i have persevered and i've still been catching stuff just not fish collecting so yeah collecting oysters been collecting plenty of seafood so that hasn't been lacking just the producing of decent fish has been very difficult kids and stuff going fishing with like a busted old piece of prawn or whatever and catch heaps of fish and then 
I spend money and time and effort <laughs> and everything and then just end up catching nothing or just getting snagged and <laughs> losing my setup. So the fishing hasn't been great so far. Oh yeah, well. just fuck fishing at the moment. But <laughs> fishing will get better, yes. hopefully. And we'll be, me and Snoop, we'll be living on fish soon. Look, I'm fine with eating 30 oysters. Yes. I'll do it. Yeah, it's been nice. Overall, caravan life, good. And we're only just at the beginning, so I think that's a good sign. We're once we get into more of the areas where there's less city and more nature, I think it's just going to get better and better from here. So I'm very excited. If you've got suggestions or handy tips, we always love to hear them. So yeah, let us know. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>